All right, Jay's back. So in one of my earlier videos, I was talking about feminine and masculine energy, yeah? And at the end of the video, I used the N-word. Now, I know what you're thinking. What, what, why are you thinking I even use that word? See, 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 you're racist, you know? I didn't use that word. I used the word nice. So at the end of the video, I said, put a woman in her place, but in a nice, seductive, manly way. Now, I know I'm going to have to be a bit more careful in the future with what I say. Now, I don't care about offending anyone who watches this. I'm not talking about, I'm not saying it in that way. I just don't want people going a bit overboard. So the reason why I said nice, because I don't want people watching that video and thinking, Jay, why I said, put woman in her place. So next time woman say, I'm going to, you know, no, 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 no. Try to hold knife. No. No, 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 I don't want you to take it too far. I don't want in a year's time, you know, you're in court and then I get summoned to court and, you know, are you Jay Wise? Yes, you're on Andre. No, 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 I don't want to end up in court because, oh, that's what, oh, I, I did it because um, Jay Wise said, I saw this video on YouTube. No, 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 no. So, put a woman in her place, yeah? Forget about being nice, yeah? Don't worry about if you offend the woman. Just don't be rude. That's That's the message behind it, yeah? Don't be rude. You don't need to be rude, right? You don't need to be rude. You don't need to be aggressive. So if a woman says something to me that I don't like, like for example, shut up. Yeah, they think they think it's 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 a joke when 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 a girl tells me to shut up. You know, a lot of girls they've told me to shut up in the past, and I'll pull them up. I'll say, don't speak to me in that way. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, I told everyone to shut up. Now hold on a minute. I'm not everyone. Yeah, and they will say and they will reply back with saying sometimes, oh. Are you my dad? I don't. I only. I only. You know, speak with respect, or I only speak properly to my parents and stuff. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You will respect me from day one. Yeah, from the first second you meet me, you will respect me. And second of all, obviously, if I meet a girl, I don't think try and plan for the future the day I meet her, or whatever. But you never know. You know, she said, "Oh, you're not my dad. You're not my parent, or whatever." I might be your child's parent. So therefore, you will speak to me with respect. From day one because i will speak to them i'm not gonna demand a girl not speak to me a certain way like tell me shut up or you know call me all different names and i speak to her like that so i speak to people the way i want to be spoken to now with my friends yeah they can tell me shut up because i tell them to shut up but i don't uh, the way i treat women that i'm talking to like that is different to how i treat other guys or friends or family members now if it's a girl that i'm not talking to like that and I never ever see her like that. Say for example, some of my female friends, they could tell me to shut up all day long because I don't care about getting that level of respect with them. Because for me, they're, they're never gonna be like a, you know, a partner like that. You know, I, I don't need them to respect me at that level. They need to respect me as a man. Everyone needs to respect me as a man, yeah? But they don't need to respect me at that level. They don't need to respect me at the level of someone who's gonna be my life partner. So never, be afraid to put a woman in her place. If you've got a girl right now, yeah, if she's your missus or you're seeing her or whatever, and you think to yourself, she says a lot of stuff I don't like, or she does a lot of stuff I don't like, and you're afraid to say something, you've really lost that woman, you know. No woman wants to be with a man who is scared to put them in their place. Now, obviously, as I said, when I meet a girl, I don't plan for the future. But if you're scared to put that woman in her place, how are you going to discipline the children? How are you going to stand up for her? To her? Uh, for her? If you can't stand up to her, because she might only be a little, you know, five foot five or whatever, how are you going to stand up to some guy who's six foot three, you know, weighing 15 stone with a clenched fist? How are you going to stand up to him? You're scared of a miniature, a tiny woman, yeah? You're scared to put a woman in her place. What if a guy comes and slaps her on her ass? How are you going to stand up for her? Never be afraid to put a woman in her place. You may come across a woman one day, right? Who, there are some women out there, they might actually go out of their way, consciously or subconsciously, to disrespect men, to see how far they can push the boundary. Yeah, subconsciously or consciously, whatever. Imagine you come across a woman one day and she's that woman who is going to go out of her way to 
push the boundary to see how far she can go with you. You would have lost that woman because she was just testing you to see, is this guy man enough? Let me see how much of a man you are. Let me see if you can put me in my place. Yeah, it's gonna it's not it's gonna be way more than something so minor like you know, you know, um, telling me to shut up. Now to me, obviously, it, it, it is minor, but I don't like it. Yeah, so I'm gonna say something. So, but they might do something that's kind of out of order, for example. Yeah, and see if you're gonna put her in a place. Now you would have lost that woman because you were scared to say something. She could have just been doing it. To test you. To see how far she can push you. And you would have lost that woman. Because she would have thought. Do you know what? If this guy had the balls to put me in my place. Because I've done something. That warranted him putting me in my place. Or leaving or whatever. And he didn't pull me up. He didn't put me in my place. He didn't leave whatever. You know what? I don't want a guy like that. I need a man who's more manly. I need a man who. You know. Don't take no shit from no woman. So. Always put a woman in her place. Listen, you may lose women. I've lost, I've lost plenty of, I've probably lost plenty of women because I put them in their place. But you know, I don't want no woman that I have to feel like I need to tiptoe around. Oh, I can't tell them what I feel. Yeah? I might have lost plenty of women, but every girl that I've been with in the past, I've always put them in their place. So it does work. Yeah, it, it, I can guarantee it does work. Yeah, you might lose some women, but at the end of the day, right, you're not going to be for everyone anyway. Yeah, there, there's always going to be women who are going to like you and not like you. So always put women in their place, right? Now, as far as the seductiveness comes into it, there's no, all right, I did say seductive. There's no real way, you know, I'm not LL Cool J. I'm like, hey, baby, don't tell me to. No, yeah. <laughs> there's no real seductive way to, to put a woman in her place, yeah, but. Just always keep calm. If a woman tells you to shut up, don't speak to me in that way. I don't like it. That's it. Do you remember that program, Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Will Smith got a girlfriend. Yeah, I can't remember her name. I think it was Vivica Fox. I'm not too sure. She was dark skin. Obviously, Will Smith's a light skin you, but she was dark skin, and she was giving him trouble, 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 attitude, everything, and. They were at the dinner table and I'm assuming all the family was there. We'll see the Uncle Phil and, you know, Hillary and, uh, you know, the gang. They were all there. And Carlton was there. And she was giving, you know, she was being troublesome or whatever. I think telling him not to look at the, the waitress and all types of foolishness. Listen, there are women who are like that. Yeah? Giving him all types of trouble, telling him to not look at the waitress. And she said something. And Carlton put her in her place. And... She said something along the lines of like, give me this or I want this. And he was like, excuse me. And she was like, yeah, I want it. He was like, excuse me. What did you say? Something along those lines. Anyway, she fell in love with him. It was all this, it was so stupid. It all went all like dreamy eyed and like all stupid love hearts. But anyway, he put her in her place. And that was like kind of like seduction. She, she fell for him. She thought, oh, this guy is so attractive that he was willing to put me in my place, he's, he's able to put me in my place, like that, and he actually done it in a manly, seductive way, listen, I don't know the name of that episode, yeah, if I can find out that episode, I will leave it um, in, in the, as a link in the description, but that one is a great one, you must have seen plenty of programs or whatever, where, where men put women in their place, and they actually like it, that's a form of seduction, if you can do something, right, if you can do something and get a woman to like you without manipulating her, to me, that's a form of seduction. Yeah? But the main purpose, the main thing is, right, forget about trying to be nice. Yeah, Just put a woman in her place. Don't be rude about it and don't be aggressive about it. Right. That's the only reason why I use the word nice, because I didn't want people thinking, oh, you know, oh, I need to be really, really nice. Oh, how am I going to go about telling her not to tell me to shut up? Mm, well, well, you know, maybe if I say it this way. No. I don't even have time to think about how I'm going to say something. As soon as they tell me shut up, boom, that's it. On them. And any girl watching this right now who's been with me like that, they know. They can vouch. They can say, yeah, Jay is telling the truth. You know, I don't piss around. But anyway, never be afraid to put a woman in her place. Yeah. Women need a man who is going to stand up to them in order for him to stand up for them. Yeah. Women need a man who is a man's man. So if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station.